Hello, 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 everybody. We have a little bit of technology problems, but it's okay. Uh, the gentleman coming on, we had to send the link via email because when you send it on Messenger, I don't believe he has a Facebook account. I sent it to somebody else to send to him, but anyway, should he should be here any minute. In the meantime, um, a lot of scuttlebutt, you know what scuttlebutt is, going around people talking, this is this, and this is going on, and that's going on. Here's what I want to say, and I want to emphasize this very, very strongly. Whatever is going on, Mr. Mufara knows it, and he's in control of it, and he's in a very upbeat, good mood of where we're going. If, if, you, if you know the man like we should, everybody's been on on passive for more than two years. Everyone, most people, three, four, five years, going on six years. We know him. I believe him. We should. There's no reason why we shouldn't. He's always over-delivered. He, he built this company for us. And uh, let's just remember those things like that, really. Don't, don't worry about the little details. No, we don't know all the details, but I don't need to know. I don't know all the details going on in Apple. I sure as heck don't know all the details going on in uh, Amazon or any other big, big company. So, yeah, please be cool. What we can do, though, while we're um, while things are going on and, and ask us redirecting the ship, we need to um, be able to focus on each other. That's why we, we really put heavily into Shine the Light because uh, I think it's very important, Chris does also, mo a lot of us do, that we need people to see certain individuals. I see that uh, Julius has showed up. He's in the holding room here. He can hear me, but he's not out here yet. I met this gentleman a week ago, maybe, maybe a little more. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. On... The OTEC Pro guys, and he's an amazing man. Uh, I'm glad he decided to come on today. You'll see what I mean. Uh, he, he spoke on there and just a absolute unpassive person. You could just tell right away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to Chris. Chris, I'll bring on Julius, and he just showed up, and we're going to go from there. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, Chris. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Uh, there's that good looking guy, Julius. I don't know a lot about Julius, but I've I've seen him. I've heard him speak. Uh, he's an upbeat guy. And we want to know everything about Julius today. It's all about you, Julius. Before we start, I want to also announce that tomorrow we have Myra Aquina, which I, if I said her name wrong, she's going to beat me. Uh, Friday, we have Don Parker, and on Saturday, someone a lot of you have may never heard of, or is his name, Shane Rust. He looks like he's a cowboy, and I'm excited about that one, too. But I'm really excited because this guy, Julius, and I think his last name is, if I say it wrong, you can laugh at me, Abangma? Is that how you say it? Wonderful, wonderful. You got it oh, right. Cool. Well, on that <laughs> note, Mr. Julius Abangma. Yeah, that's it. Let's let's hear your story, man. We're dying to know about you. So, Julius, a, a little bit about yourself, whatever you feel comfortable, how you find out about Unpassive, what what you love about Unpassive, and what would you like Unpassive to do for you? Yeah. And okay. we're going to turn it over to you, sir. Thank you so much for coming on such a short, you know, notice. Quick no, short notice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, You're welcome. Ooh, my story started sometime hold around. On, hold, uh, on, hold, on, hold on one minute. There we go. Sure. We good now? Yeah, we're good, sir. Okay. So, so my story started around uh, March uh, 2020. I um, I had an invitation, a call from a guy called uh, um, Charles Osong. I, I guess we all know him. Charles called me on this wonderful day and told me, hey, Julius, listen. There's a business I want to talk to you about. And the first thing that comes out of my mouth is how much? And he goes, $97. And I go like, I'm in. And then I go, um, 
then he goes up oh, 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 hold on one second there's uh, something i need to tell you somewhere down the line in the, in a couple of months you're going to be required to make a payment of uh maybe about 900 plus dollars close to a thousand dollars and i'm like do, do you want the money now now charles is like no no we haven't gotten there yet so just hang on when the time comes you'll be required to make that payment now this is the thing i had failed in in two three or four uh, online businesses internet businesses and charles is calling me about the fourth or the fifth one i am i'm just running into it without even thinking about it so when i sat back a couple of days later and thought about it i was like there's got to be a spiritual side to this business now what is it about on passive that just got me jumping like just going crazy about it and not even thinking not even trying to evaluate what this business is all about and all that but anyways when i sign up the next day i got to the back office and i was looking at stuff and i saw the 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 the, uh, the ebook and I went through the ebook maybe three, four times. And I said to myself, but wait a minute, this ebook, this is all I need because the ebook explained to me what this whole thing was about. I did not need to attend any webinars in the beginning or anything to know what this whole thing is about. I just understood what the business is about. And I said to myself, well, I'm going to start recruiting. This is something I've never done. I've never been successful in. I've never really, really recruited people, talked to people. I, I wasn't really comfortable talking to people because I hate changing a person's point of view. You know, especially we're getting to get people to buy into stuff that you don't even know much about and so on. Anyway. So there's something in the ebook that said if there's someone that wants to join the business and doesn't have the money and if you have spare change sign them up so when i read that i was like well, wait a minute i could i could really do much here i could bring in family members friends and and anybody that i met that didn't have the money and i had some spare change to help i could i could help these persons and so i embarked on that and then i started recru recru recruiting now became easy for me because i knew if i met somebody and i had change and they couldn't do it i could tell them well i could put some money up for front for you and you could pay me back later or whatever i knew that if i didn't get any money back it'd still be fine but that was the way I got into Unpassive, and the rest was history. Now, I don't know if, uh, if Mari, I don't know if you guys are listening to me or if you guys can hear me or whatever. We I'm not sure. You, oh, we that's can, good. That's good. We can see you. With you. Yeah, we can see you and hear you. Hey, Chris, Chris Johnson. Yes, sir. You're one of my favorite guys, man. you always upbeat, man. Don't tell Marty that. He'll get all mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> you always upbeat and listen man I've, i'm so happy to be in your company today thank you i'm dude. so happy to be in your company today I've, I've never met never been close to anybody as upbeat as chris chris Ooh. is fire, chris is fired up 24 7. <laughs> julius yes what did, you, what did you do before on passive what was your history like before on passive yeah we want to know hey. all about you hey guys i like i like i like it i like it to be in the form of questions when you ask me questions then i can you know fall back a little bit and talk some more i came to america from africa in 1981 i was 22 21 going 22 years old i came from cameroon straight into the university of wisconsin to study accounting it's straight into the dorm most people don't even know that was possible. Well, I was in the, I was at the University of Wisconsin for a year and I ran out of money. My family could not sustain me. I, I come from a family of 10 children. My family could not pay my tuition 
after the first year. So I moved to the University of the District of Columbia on a soccer scholarship because I played soccer. And the rest is history. I've been in the metro area, the Washington, DC, the Washington DC area for the past, what, 43 years? Yeah. I could even run for uh, run for uh, uh, the governor of Maryland right now if I wanted to. I'm ah, just kidding. But anyways, <laughs> well, anyways, I, I studied accounting and worked as an accountant for about 10 years. And then after that, I got into IT. I was I studied uh, Cisco. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Cisco. Cisco networking. I got into Cisco networking. I bought some Cisco books, sat at home, read the books, wrote the exams, passed the exams, studied the material, and then I started teaching Cisco at home. Why? Because I didn't I did not have work papers. I was at the time an undocumented alien. So I could not work. See, when I worked as an accountant from college, I had what they call a work permit. You have a you're allowed to work, but you're really not a uh, registered alien. You're not a citizen and all that good stuff. So after a while, the U.S. immigration decided they could not renew my work papers anymore. So I was undocumented from that point. So I had to find a way to, to, to survive. That's how I got into Cisco networking and I studied the material myself. I said, if I if I have to teach i have to know the stuff so i read the books and started teaching the uh teaching the subject at home all my students all the students i taught cisco networking to passed the exams all my students passed personally cisco had three levels at the time i don't know how many levels are now we have now there was Cisco uh, network professional. There was Cisco internet expert, and the, the, and and there was Cisco CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE, which is the higher level. I got to the CCNP level as far as certification, but I still could not use those certifications to do anything because I didn't have work papers. But I'm happy I taught because my students, some of my students are doing so well in Europe. I taught some guys who are in France and Germany, and they are like serious, serious, serious IT people. But today, I have work papers. I'm a citizen of the United States. I'm a U.S. citizen. Thanks be to God. And... I work as uh, what they call, um, the company I work for takes care of people with disabilities. I work for a company that takes care of people with disabilities. And my position is called uh, incident management coordinator, which means I'm an investigator. If something happens to any one of these people with uh, disabilities, I am the person that has to inform the government and talk to the people and tell them what happened uh, i coordinate the link i'm the link between the government and the company i work for my other i have a second function i'm also the trainer i train all the persons that come in to work with uh the persons with disabilities so i have to train them it's a training that has about um 13 14 modules and this training used to take about two, three days, but we cut it down to, to about nine, eight, nine hours right now. That's what I do for a living. And it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful, wonderful job. It's a wonderful job to be working for people who cannot otherwise take care of themselves. It's wonderful. It's very fulfilling. It's very satisfying. But anyways, uh, there's, there's one thing about my background that I would like to, to bring up uh, to you guys here. My father, my father worked with the government of Cameroon, Cameroon, West Africa. Cameroon is, is, is east of uh, Nigeria. 
and in the west, west and central coast of Africa. My father was, the position he had at the time was, was much more like a deputy assistant secretary of education. So he laid, he laid much emphasis on school education and all that good stuff. Of course, that's why he sent me to the US to study. Now, my father was a writer. He wrote books for elementary schools. Oh, by the way, he studied in England. My father studied in England. He wrote books for education, mathematics books, English books, and uh, geography books, and all kinds of books for, 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 for people in elementary school and middle school and that, that kind of stuff. Now, growing up, I was in the midst of all these things. So when I was, uh, I think, 17, 18, I wrote my first book. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the uh, education system of England and, of course, the West African countries that were colonized by the English. There is something they call um, the GCE, General Certificate of Education, Ordinary Level, Advanced Level. The ordinary level would be like um, just between middle school and high school. And the advanced level would be like uh, between high school and maybe your first year in college. Yes. So when when I had the uh, when I had the G the GCE advanced level, I passed in. I had what we call three papers. <laughs> I'm going to explain that. So the three papers were. Um, economics, French, and uh, history. Now, with that, with those, with that qualification, I decided to teach. Now, mind you, I was eighteen years old. I was teaching in what we call a secondary school, which is like between between middle school and um, mid between mid between high school and college i was teaching economics and french and history now the the, the, the my students were were between three and five years younger than I was, so I could relate to them. I mean, I, I, I understood what their problems were. And when I, when, I, when I got the position to teach, the students I taught had not had a, a, an economics or history teacher for the first semester so i came in at the second semester as young as i was i decided to to teach on saturdays and some sundays so we could catch up this is a boarding school meaning they stayed in dorms i went in and taught them on saturdays and sundays of course i had the schedule from monday to friday but i went in on saturdays and sundays so we could catch up and when they wrote the GCE ordinary level, which is the lower one, our passing grade was 80%, and that was fantastic. Two years after that, I came to the US to, um, to study accounting at the University of the District of Columbia. God, I, talk, I, I never knew I talked this much. <laughs> I never knew I talked this much. Chris, is any other questions? Uh, I, ha I have one, Julius. Yes, 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 yes go ahead. As, as Unpassive moves ahead, what would you like to get out of Unpassive? What, what, what is it that you think you can uh, do with, with what Unpassive can give you? Now, I work with a company that takes care of people with disabilities and that by itself is giving because these people cannot do anything for themselves they need us to be able to leave to do 
stuff that we do on a daily basis without even thinking about it. So I'm thinking if I have any extras, if I can help, I would, I'm looking at um, healthcare, education, people, persons with disabilities, and a bunch of stuff. Now, if I have to expand on that, we, we would probably be talking for about a month or so. I'll give you an example. For, for to help people with, um, people with, um, um, via, via education, for instance, if I have to use education to help people, this is what I have in mind personally. I come from a country, my, my home country, Cameroon, where it's, it, it's, it's very difficult for even very intelligent persons to pay for their education since they come from very humble backgrounds. So I'm looking at setting up scholarships where qualified persons can, 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 can further their education. And just, just, you know, just in my head, I'm thinking one of the requirements I'm going to give each one of these persons who qualify for the scholarships is you are going to promise to me that you you will help one person, send one person through school, support one person that is not related to you in any way, shape or form. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to provide an education for somebody who's going to provide an education for somebody. And I'm going to ask that person to ask that person to provide an education for somebody. And so it's going to be a spiral. It's going to be a, dom it's a domino effect. I help you, you help someone who helps someone who helps someone. And I, I believe that's Ash Mufar's dream. So we can we can keep helping people all over the world. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Let's come on here with you, Chris. I just want to say I love his shirt and I love that hat he's got on. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Chris. Now, if I take off my hat, my head will probably be just like yours, but just a little lower in the middle here. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in the middle. Someone says <laughs> he looks a lot like Charles O. Song. And Charles, if you're listening, Julius is way better looking. I want to tell you that right now. <laughs> what what Charles are you talking about? Takusi? No, O Song. Oh, you ain't better. Oh, Charles O Song. <laughs> you know, that's that's the guy who brought me in. Yes, yeah. sir. That's what that's the guy who brought me in. We know Charles very well. Yeah. 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 I met him. He's a wonderful guy. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he's fun. We're all wonderful people. I, I am I am really surprised how Ash could capture so many wonderful wonderful people. But then again, good good attracts good. Absolutely. Yes, so so Absolutely. it's not surprising to me to that extent. Yeah. That's exactly right. Exactly. I believe like, like I've said probably on every show, is I had friends that so called are pretty smart, but they didn't see it. I, I realized that it's not 2020 vision with your eyes. It's 2020 vision with your heart. You know, you got that right, sir. That's, that's why we get along so well with each other. I love the idea that because I'm passive drain the ocean, knocked all down all the walls. We're one big family. And, and you, that's priceless to me. Priceless. So yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Definitely. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, um, it looks like this is very surprising and crazy. It looks like I'm, I am I need some more juice for my phone. Let me see if this is going to work. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. We're good now. Okay. We're good. I, you know, you know, Marty, I tried to use uh, I tried to use the uh, the computer to get on the show, but it didn't work. But when I tried my, my cell phone, it did work. So That's crazy. We had somebody who else said that, Chris? Somebody not too long ago said the same thing. I don't understand why uh, that is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I can't remember their name, but yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's just where, where where are you at again, Julius? Right now? I, I'm I'm at Mar Maryland, Maryland. The, the, the good old state of Maryland. 
Yeah, he's he's not that far away, really. From I'm not far either. away from from any one of you guys. Julius, no. try cleaning your computer completely out and do it again. Really yeah, I'll do that. that yeah. At. And Julius, I want you to. I want to thank you so much for coming here. I'm sorry for the late notice, but I thought about you this morning first thing, and I went, you know what? I'm going to try to find him. I went to Collins, who went to Bob, Big Bob Dacuzzi, and they, they took care of it right away. I think what happened was when they sent you the link originally, it yeah. was a link that was copied from Messenger from Facebook, and the coding gets messed up. So okay. I don't I don't know if you got a new one. I sent it to your email instead. Is yeah. That the one you, is that the one you used? Yeah, I used the one you sent to the email, but that didn't work either. What browser oh. you on? So, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm using a work browser, so maybe they got some glitches in there that are preventing this thing from happening. Yeah, most companies put black, so you can't do that stuff. You yeah, maybe that's what's going on. Oh, yeah. that could be. That could be. But we, but we good. We good. Yeah, yeah. But either way, thank you so much. You're you're definitely a diamond in this business. I knew it when I saw you. You proved it today. And if you ever have anybody, Julius, that seems like they're out there and they don't get a chance to say who they are and what they are, send them our way, sir. Okay? Send them our you way. You got it, Mr. Gamo. You got it. I, I'll I do that. In, I believe in shining the light on others. Everybody knows who me and Chris are, and I'm tired of hearing him, and he's tired of hearing me. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like looking at him anymore, Julius. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are great. You guys are great. You, you uh, Mr. Gamo, Mr. Gamo, I, I, I need to tell you guys this, man. You, especially you, Chris Johnson, Red Redfin, you guys are doing a wonderful job. I've been watching you guys for years, man. I mean, like, like the amount of time you spend on the business trying to do things talking to people explaining to people doing things and i'm sure doing things for people in the background that we don't even see yeah yeah god bless you guys man but you know god what, bless I, you guys. I, what i told somebody was when when I, i'm on disability by the way but what before i was i uh, had a job where i traveled all over the world and i loved it i, I went to different countries i learned about people i found yeah. out Every, everybody's really the same. They want to take care of their family. They they want the best. I think sometimes governments make us hate each other. I don't know why. But when I got out of that, I lost that. And I went, oh, my gosh. So, you know, what am I going to do? I love that. And here I, 15 years later, I'm passive finds me. And I said, I belong here because I love, yeah, of people. I love building people. And, and this is my why. So... Yeah, I 100% um, love this. I think you're right. You're, you're another person like that where you focus on other people. You know, I tell people, you know, the biggest servant in this company is Ashley Farah. And all yes, sir. Giving, giving, giving. It's not about a title. It's not about, oh, oh you're gosh. LC or you're this. That means nothing to me. You know, oh, we lost. <laughs> What'd you do? We lost he, them. He, he said, oh, my gosh. And then he, I don't know if he clicked the button. And His battery off. might have died. He plugged it in, but he might be perhaps plugging into the wall. Anyway, we can wrap it up anyway. And uh, Hi, we'll Julius. Couple, <laughs> yeah. We'll give him a couple seconds to come back, but I think he's uh, bought the farm. Yeah, tomorrow, know. I hear him. You there, Julius? He's not here. Oh, I heard him. Can you say tomorrow, I guys? Two o'clock, we got 360. I believe Ash Mafara will be there, pretty sure. Unless two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Uh, we will be doing Myra Aquino. I think that's how you say it. I know I said it right. I did. Aquino, I know. Yeah, Aquino. Tomorrow, and uh, we're excited about that. And then we'll go into 360 at two. So stay prepared. Remember, stay positive. Uh, there's a lot of things out there, and in my opinion, I ignore everything, but I pay attention when Ash talks, and uh, he's got everything under control, uh, and that's how I look at it. Uh, I trust him 100%. Both of us do, and uh, it's still exciting. I wake up every day thinking, wow, 
what's going to happen today. But this shining of the light we're doing right now is so much fun uh, because we're meeting all different kind of people. I mean, Julius just, just rocked it out here. And everyone, uh, Bone Crusher Smith, you guys, uh, was awesome. We shared many of his YouTubes out. Um, like and subscribe to his YouTubes. They're on my Facebook. I think Marty's got them posted out there. Uh, let's give them some love, him and his wife's organization, helping the youth, and it's pretty cool. So uh, I would love if you would did that. You don't even have to subscribe to me. Subscribe to Bone Crusher Smith and uh, see what's going on in his life. It's pretty cool. 71 years old, led a boxing career like you wouldn't believe, uh, became a minister, and he's just doing a lot of great things. So uh, remember that. All right, anyway, friend. shout out to Julius. Thank you, sir, for being here. Sorry we, we lost you at the end, but you, at least we got everything covered. And we'll see you all tomorrow. It, now, listen, tomorrow, 360 at 2 o'clock, that's the plan. But Ash is multitasking, multitasking times multiple times. So, yeah. But that's the plan so far. When we get it down, when we get it nailed, we will post it. Yeah, we'll Thank you very you much. 10 o'clock yep. tomorrow.